chosen ones where you are where you are shout out to all chosen ones all over the world shout out to all chosen ones all over the globe i want you to remember that as a chosen one it is not blood that makes us related but it is love that makes us related chosen ones one love all right let love lead let love guide you and not fear all right you read the title and you know what this video is about all right be alone eat alone sleep alone take yourself on dates alone all right take time to understand and love who you really are take time to understand and love cherish who you really are for this is the right time to do that for yourself to love yourself to understand yourself to cherish yourself if you don't do it for yourself nobody is gonna do it for you all right so you must learn to do this as a chosen one i'm telling you right and never ever be afraid to be alone i'm telling you okay a woman who is not afraid to be alone is a very strong and a powerful woman the same way a man who is not afraid to be alone is a very strong and a powerful man chosen one it's better to be alone than to be moving in the crowd and be going in the wrong direction it is better to be alone than to be in an offensive and abusive relationship chosen ones your peace of mind and your peace of heart matters all right so never ever be afraid to be alone because when you are alone it is a blessing in itself in fact you are not even alone if you have god by your side when you know that god is with you you are not alone chosen ones if your future scares you and you look behind you and it hurts remember to look above for god's guidance and god's direction and i'm telling you god is going to guide you god is going to direct you god is going to lead you god is with you all right the holy spirit is with you to comfort you to teach you everything so you are never alone learn to trust your unknown future to a known god all right I repeat, learn to trust, okay, your unknown future into the hands of a known God. Chosen ones, nobody knows what tomorrow holds. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. And that person is G-O-D. That is God. In fact, God is always whispering to you i'm with you i'm with you i'm with you you are not alone i'm with you my son i'm with you my daughter i love you so much i love you i love you god is whispering to you that he is with you and he loves you so much so why are you afraid of being alone never ever be afraid to be alone as a chosen child of the most high god right this is the right time for you to learn or you got to learn you see life is in stages if you don't take your time to understand to love and to cherish who you really are when you are alone you can't do it again when you get married or when you get into a relationship with someone and that will be like a path that is not touched and that is going to affect 
the relationship. All right? So you got to cherish and love yourself and understand who you really are first. And the best time to do this is now, when you are alone. All right? I'm telling you. That is why I love this um, team, Liverpool team. I love their slogan. We are never alone. We never walk alone. That is the slogan. They never walk alone. Liverpool, they never walk alone. All right? And that is the same way with you, chosen one. You never walk alone. Learn to take some time out to build a stronger relationship with God. In fact, when you are alone, that is when you can build a better relationship with God and develop a great love for God and the things of God. That is why Apostle Paul made it clear that those who get married are going to face more troubles than those who aren't married. Right? Marriage is with its own problems and challenges. When you learn to be alone, you will realize that you are never alone because always your higher self will be communicating to you. The Holy Spirit will be communicating to you. This is the time chosen ones to work on your prayer with God, communicate with God as if uh, the, the, like the way a, 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 a child and the parents communicate. That is the same way. And when you learn to do this, I'm telling you, the sky is going to be your limit. All right? Jesus Christ led an exemplary life. He paved the way for us. He came to teach us how to get close to God, to get in contact with the source. And the best way is to do it alone, to love your own solitude. Jesus Christ always takes time off the crowd, of people, of the group, to be alone, to offer prayers. All right? So being alone is very much important. That is the secret to growth, to spirituality. If you want to be spiritually strong, then you must be willing to love your own solitude. Being alone, it is powerful. I'm telling you. Okay? Right. So chosen ones, I want us to pick some Two scriptures arrive from the Bible, okay? Um, proof text, okay? Let's look at it. Um, we'll look at one from the book of Mark and uh, we'll look at the other from the book of uh, Luke, okay? Great. So, um, let's look at it with, without um, any time wasting. Mark, okay? Mark, um, Mark chapter 1 verse 35 and I read chosen ones very early the next morning long before daylight Jesus got up and left the house he went out of the town to a lonely place where he prayed take note to a lonely place where he he prayed to a lonely place. All right? That's it. If you want to grow spiritually, you must learn to go to places alone, to do things alone, and that is going to help you. I am telling you. Because when you are one-on-one -on -one with yourself, that is when you hear God speak to you clearly and loud so use this time to build your relationship with god if you are alone all right 
and stop worrying all right stop worrying just trust your unknown future into the hands of the known god that you know i believe you know god you know god never sleeps nor slumbers he watches over you day and night all right so put your trust in him okay and he's gonna be well with you all right great let's look at the second um text okay from the book of um, Luke, Luke chapter 5 verse 15 to 16 and i read chosen ones but the news about jesus spread all the more widely and crowds of people came to hear him and be healed from their diseases but he would go away to lonely places where he prayed to lonely he goes away to lonely pray places to pray that is jesus for you all right he sets the example for us you can do this in group you can do this in relationship you can only do this even in relationship if you are married there are times you need to take time out to be alone to a lonely place to build a stronger connection relationship with god that is why salvation is personal salvation is personal i'm telling you all right great and you got to remember that chosen ones anything that you are not born with that you've acquired or gotten or own in this life on this earth can go away at any point in time and that includes people properties everything that is why you must learn to detach yourself from things people and build a stronger connection with god because when everything else failed you you'll be left with your faith your hope and love that is why bible says in the book of first corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 that three things will last in this world faith hope and love and the greatest of these three is love right among all graces it is faith that pleases god the most chosen ones learn to be alone and when you are alone it is no punishment. Don't rush. Don't feel pressured to go be in a relationship. All right? Take this time to learn, to understand who you really are, to love who you really are, to cherish who you really are. I am telling you. All right? Great. And you, when you learn to do this, you will go far in life no matter what. No matter what life brings because you know how to do things on your own already all right so nothing is going to scare you anymore all right great remember to remember that strong people are not afraid to be alone all right they are not afraid it is only weak people that always want to be in groups a strong people, powerful people, aren't afraid to be alone, to be outnumbered. Right? Thank you for watching this. I'm out.